Throughout history, mankind has gone to the ends of the earth to chase the greatest treasures. No, it's not the new Indiana Jones movie. This feature tackles a quest of a different kind. Osama. It's the latest work from Morgan Spurlock, the man brave enough to gorge on nothing but McDonald's for hit documentary Super Size Me, says four years on and it was time to take up an even bigger challenge and thought he'd start with one of the burning issues of our time. So, you know, I live in New York City and like most New Yorkers, we want to know the answer to that question. You know, Why haven't we found Osama bin Laden? Where is he? So it was 2005 and uh, Bush had just been re-elected, re Osama had just released a new tape and suddenly he was everywhere on every news channel and the newscasters were like, why haven't we caught him? Why haven't we brought him to justice? Where in the world's Osama bin Laden? And I was like, that's a great question. I want to know that too. The search for the most wanted man on the planet takes him as far as Egypt, Morocco, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan and Pakistan, which meant learning a few extra survival skills. So this course is reality-based protection. Turn away from the grenade. Move! How do I say, don't take me, take the cameraman? <laughs> but there aren't many brave enough to make a joke out of the war on terror. You know, some people have said, you know, well, you can't really find humor in this. Why is this funny? And, and, I, and Lily Tomlin uh, is a great comedian and actress, said something years ago. She said, we have to find humor in everything because when you find humor, you find humanity. And in this movie, there's a tremendous amount of humanity. Alongside Morgan, expect to see a cameo or two from President Bush. That's not to say that he sides with his views. I want to try and make things that are for everybody, you know, not a red state, blue state movie or, uh, or, a, or a, you know, Republican or Democrat film. I want to make films for everyone to see that everyone can benefit from and hopefully get something out of. The 37-year-old picked up an Oscar nomination for his breakthrough doco and by the looks of it, his latest work is destined to do just as well. Hey, you guys know where Osama's at? And they always point. Jitta Osama. So that way.